Hello friends. Today we are going to talk about the Indian startup that has completely changed the game in the space industry. That is Skyroot Aerospace. Did you know India now has private company in the field of their launching their own rockets into space. So let's drive into the inspiring journey of this experience. So introducing guys, what is aerospace? What is Skyroot Aerospace? So Skyroot Aero Aerospace is a private startup based in Hyderabad that develops SLPs, which is satellite launch vehicles. Basically, these are the satellites which these are the kind of these are the rockets which launch satellites in the space. Its mission is opening space for all. They are going to make space easier and more affordable for everyone to travel into it. On the other hand, we can say meaning making space acceptable to everyone through fast and affordable launches. So let's move to the another step that origin story and foundations. Let's go to the founders of this star. So basically, Skyroot was found in 2018 by former ISRO scientist. We all know about this, the Indian Space Research Organization. And the people are Pavan Kumar, Chandala and Naga Bharat. Starting with a small team of just 10 members in Kondapur, Hyderabad. Major supports came from Mukesh Bansal, Ankit Nagori and Vasudeva and the startup was nourished by the Tea Hub Incubator. So now we have gone through the the founder and the origin story of the start. So let's move to the next part which is early milestones and recognition. So basically so now we move to the data. So just uh, go through it. In October 2020, won the National Startup Award ability that they can explore or making the space easier to reach. We have its bit of brilliant minds together. On November 2020, signed a M debt memorandum of understanding with Drogo Space to build a satellite launch ecosystem. Just like we had read earlier that uh, they are making SLEs that satellite launch vehicles for the environment or the for the launch vehicle for making the uh, for making the platform they just make the deal with through business to build the satellite launch ecosystem by which they can launch the satellites easily in efficient way and in the productive manner also. Now move to what's the purple 2021 in it they signed an NDA with ISRO, which is Non-Disclosure Agreement, granting access to ISRO's technical facilities. With this, the member of Skyroot Aerospace, the basically the Skyroot can access the technology of ISRO in their further development. Now let's move to the March 2021. They won the Aegis Grand Bell Award in the Innovation category. So let's move towards the May 2021 and January 2022. They have raised their funds round totally 70 million US dollars. So let's move to the third step. It's not basically a third step, it's a third part. Revolutionary Rocket Launchers On 18 November 2022, Skyrim made the history by launching the Vikram S rocket, becoming the first private Indian company to send a rocket into space. So the, uh, now we just go or we can move towards the rocket engine story and the science behind it. So there are, they made Three category of rockets. First one is Roman One. It just 
named after Sir C. V. Raman, a liquid fuel upper stage engine tested in August 2020. Now next rocket which is Kalam 5 and Kalam 100. Named from Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam, solid fuel it is a rocket which is based upon solid fuel carbon composition engine tested in December 2020 and May 2022. Now we'll just move towards the next and the last rocket they have made which is Dhawan 1 named after Professor Satish Dhawan a cryogenic engine powered by LNG which is basically a liquefied natural gas and built using 3D printer tested in November 2021 so basically these are the three rockets uh, which they had made and with this or we can say uh, with the help of these rockets they are going to make the space easy to reach and in the affordable price so after all these things this is a start and we have to know that how they are earning because till now we had just learned or we had just saw all these they are expanding they are raising funds and they are they had become the india's first space startup which has launched a rocket into the space so let's move guys to their business model so their business model is simple they are the commercial satellite launcher services for India and global clients. Basically, they uh, with their SLV, they provide services. In their services, they they just made or they can just transfer the satellite from or to space, and from this they can earn or generate their revenue. If we move towards the next point of earning, which is Technology partnership with companies like Betelarix, Aerospace, Dhruva Space, and Exim Space, and a 500 crore agreement with the Telangana government for a manufacturing and testing facilities, and the funding grants and innovation award supporting expectations and research and development let's move towards the next portion which is further plans and recent developments so these are some further plans and developments are in october 2023 they raised their 27.5 million us dollar in upper series c funding round total funding raised about 95 million dollars in january 2025 signed a mega funding agreement with the telangana government at the world's economic forum which is wef the, now we just talk about the upcoming technologies we can say the upcoming developments so the upcoming developments are the maiden flights of Vikram 1 in 2025 and long-term vision developing reusable rockets for low-cost launches have you heard this that earlier only SpaceX made these types of rockets but they are planning to make their own Indian rockets which can be reusable with low cost price that's appreciable so after all these things read the, the basic uh, line or you can tell is statement the skyroof aerospace has brought private innovations in indian space sector participating with isro building world-class rocket technologies enabling faster and more affordable launches it is transforming the future of India's space ecosystem. So that's why this startup is 
used or we can say the beneficial for us in future if you get inspired after seeing this video so don't forget to like share and subscribe and let me know in the comment section on which topic would you like to watch the next video